And I don't know where you guys live, but around here, this is pretty much the uh, Canadian aftershave, I tell you. No joke, middle, I guess not even the middle, end of August. And the, <coughs> the bugs haven't even quit this year. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, there's just one little area I got to uh, get cleaned off and then we'll get down to work. Okay, we got this all blown out and this looks pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do, and this is exactly what I have to do every single time, make sure water's in here. Now, I happen to know there's water in there, but obviously you could pop that out, have a look-see in there. Other thing I have to do, I leave the blade untensioned. So you'll notice right now it's loose. Right? That's untensioned. So I come up to my handy-dandy, uh, what do you call it, torque wrench? Torque wrench? Yeah, torque wrench. And uh, I come over here. And I'm going to get it to 30 or 25, excuse me, foot pounds. Now, one thing I like to do before I tighten that thing up, I come over to my mill and I open it up and just have a look. I would hate to get it all torqued up and not have it, oops, not have it sitting in the center of the, of the drive wheels. I guess this would be the follower wheel, you call it? An idler wheel? What do you call that? Follower? This one's the drive wheel over here. That's sitting right in the middle. I hadn't bumped it and I knew that, but I just thought, what the heck, we better check. And this is set to 25. That's 25. Shut her down and we'll get to work. All right, we're just about up and running here. Let's get these all buttoned up. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, Let's see what logs we we're gonna cut today. Not those things; they've already been cut. I guess we might as well start with that one. And I want to show you a piece of ingenuity at its finest. Look at that. So this is off Amazon. And uh, obviously I over torqued it. I don't even know what type of wood that is. I snapped it in half. Used a little PL Premium and some hose clamps. That thing's been going strong for months. This log's massive. I probably should have cut it. So pretty rotten or pretty uh, old, I guess. Been sitting for a little while. touched in there then the next thing I do I take my tape and you'll see how it's raised up here a bit it's still fairly close so I'm gonna leave it but when I when I take my tape I look to see what height my first cuts gonna be and I check it a few different points and I'm looking like I'm gonna try for seven inches to start Seven might be a bit high, so I'll try six and a half to start. Get this raised up to my height, I just said. Uh, let's split the difference, six and three quarter. So there's that, locked in. Check to make sure the water is going to come out. This thing's been sitting for a little while, probably a few weeks, so. Open that wide up, wide open. Someone's building something in the distance. Water coming out slowly. What happens, any of, this, any of the junk inside here settles in the bottom of this tank and gotta help it out here. Come on out. There it goes. 
Let's see how this thing fires up. Like I said, it's probably been, Jesus, probably been at least three weeks, so. that as you can see and obviously I didn't take enough off here what I do is I throw the off cuts out in a pile then I get the tractor and I back it right in here and chip it into that big pile and use it for whatever but as you can see here this log's been sitting around for a while and you get some of this uh, I don't know what insect it is but it burrows holes in the log and the moisture follows and you get a bit of discoloration so such is life Anyways, I think we're gonna probably have to take another good inch off that. We'll bring her down to uh, what I say, six and three quarter. Let's do five and a half, actually. chip all this stuff either you'll notice this you know it's not a bad piece of wood it's just not gonna be for me but uh, sometimes I give some of that away and others will use it anyways that's that so now I can figure out what we're dealing with in terms of a finished piece of lumber so I'll probably be able to get a 1x6 out of this so that's my flat edge I'll flip it over now and I always crank it up just a little before I pull it back. I know it shouldn't touch anything, but it has in the past due to the log shifting or whatever. Okay. Over. Here's the most important thing, because I forget once in a while. Let these sit down, put them down. I've hit them before, as I've mentioned in other videos. There's actually a piece I should have set down in front of the blade you'll see it there right now the set screw is loose my own fault so I have to uh, I gotta fix that I just want to do it right now so if you recall we're at five and a half we're probably gonna have to take a good inch and a half off the top so let's cut that down to four inches and that'll probably be our finished height so I'm looking right here four inches That'll be fine. you guys do I use two of them and I find that's sufficient but I could put another one or two in if I needed to hold it with my knee lock it in make sure it's fully touching the whole length of that log support and now what I'll do I'll take my tape I'm gonna see what height I can cut. So like, I want a six inch board, so inch and a half to seven and a half there. Down here's a bit different. I think we're gonna try that inch and a half to seven and a half. Here's the part you don't want to cut too much off. Once you cut it off, it's obviously not going back on. But I'm looking here and I'm thinking, okay, how many one by sixes can I get going this way? How many one inch sections are there? Well, there's four, but obviously I'm not gonna get four 
because of stuff like this, I'll probably get two. I could get two one by six the whole length, so I'll leave it at that. Flip it over. show you this next one and then I think I'm just about done for a little while Maybe something else. that big boy there on this property they don't get too much bigger than this unfortunately This wood lot, estimation trees are about 35 years old, these red pine. So this one probably had excellent sun. It wasn't overcrowded, so that depends why it's so big. All right, so this will give us lots of good lumber. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me here today. As you can see, I got a solid start on things. I got some good wood in there, some not so good, but regardless, I got some material ready to be built with. Anyways, kind of clearing up out here, so I don't know, I might go out and do some other things, take a break from the uh, from the sawmill. I like to get out here whenever the weather is sort of, you know, iffy and uh, poke away. So, Anyways guys, really appreciate you all watching, especially those of you who have been around the channel since I started last December. Things are going quite well. I'm sort of going off and on with all kinds of projects so i hope to continue to do that in the meantime if you guys wouldn't mind hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already join us here at sawing with sandy thanks very much folks we'll see you guys all next time